perfectionism, shame, and burnout. These three words are really high loaded. Burnout is this sense of being burned because we work so hard. Look at the statistics of women, particularly here in Europe. They work so hard. We work so hard. We work so hard like we are on fire, like we are burning. And why do we work so hard? Because, because we feel that whatever it is that we do, it is not enough. So then we do a little bit more, and a little bit more, and a little bit more, and a little bit more. Because it's, whatever we do is not perfect. It is not perfect, not perfect. And this is just insane because tell me something, what is perfection? What is perfection? I was driving uh, down the lane here with my daughter and she was telling me how imperfect she was. Because you see in an elementary school, other girls have the hair longer, shorter, thicker and we were going through a very um, wooden area. So there was lots of trees, lots of nature around. And I told her about perfectionism, which leaf is better than the other one, which green is the uh, right one. Should be the tall one or the short one or the most uh, horizontal tree, <laughs> the thinner one. And she got it. And I hope that you get it as well. It is not about working harder, harder, and harder for you to be perfect. It's about something more profound. And that is where shame comes in. You see, shame, shame is different from guilt. Guilt is that I did something wrong and therefore you know, I am guilty. So I kill somebody, I am guilty of murder. Shame is different in the sense that instead of I did something, shame is I am fundamentally wrong. I am fundamentally wrong. And this is a um, concept that we have in our system, I would say 100% of the women, because we have 12,000 years of living in a system that was everything designed for the male values, for the male psychology. So everything related to competition, everything related to hierarchies, everything related to compliance. And to go against that, i.e. to be a woman, was dangerous. So no wonder witches were killed. And women who try to uh, do something for themselves, well labeled as, uh, you know, she wolves or, uh, you know, bad women. So this shame, it comes as a, in a part of our collective unconscious that being a woman, there is something to be ashamed from. It is no wonder we don't talk about periods, we don't talk about menopause, we don't talk about, we try to hide ourselves. If you show a little bit of cleavage, you are a prostitute. So that shame, we try to cover it with hard work because we in corporate, we work hard. We don't talk about being pretty, or we don't talk about these superficial things that are just of little girls. We're tough, 
because we can do it just like them. And then we end up burnout. So what is the, the, how can we get out of this? How can we get out of this? The first step is to do what you're precisely doing right now, is to stop. Take some time and separate yourself from that grinding. Action, 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 action. Take a step back and take perspective. I invite you to use your intelligence, not your intuition, huh? and separate yourself really like if you were the observer, like if you were God, imagine like you were your teddy bear, somebody separate from you, observing you, observing what is happening in your life. What is the metaphor that you are living? Are you that uh, mosquito or uh, uh, fly that is banging itself against the glass, trying to reach that objective and there is a glass in between? Are you trying to perform tremendously like a truck when you are a Formula One car? Are you trying to do something impossible? Are you trying to do something that you actually don't like to do? Reflect, think. Take time and make it a habit. Do it after you finish this video. Write, observe, and tomorrow, give yourself some time to reflect and observe and ask the very same questions and take some time again and again for several days until you get it. What is what you're doing? Why is that you are doing it? Is there a better way? Is there a better way? Is it that you have to change how you're doing it? Where? Is it that you need help? And this is something important. Asking for help is not giving up. It's refusing to give up. Create a journaling practice. That journaling practice is nothing else but to access your own wisdom, your own intelligence, and intelligence as in, in your brain, as intelligence in your body, in your heart, in your gut, in your womb. Right. Write for yourself, listen to that wisdom. You are going to find the best course of action. And do me a favor now. If you like this video and you're committing yourself to yourself to write, please like it and share it because we want to change those statistics of burnout women. And we want to have them activated changing the future of the world. Like it, share it, and have a wonderful day.